Hiya folks, welcome back. I'm going to show you how to make a website. Not just any website, but this actual website and YouTube channel. And in today's video, all I'm going to do is explain some of the fundamental concepts of setting up a website. So as a business owner, you can make better decisions moving forwards. So there's only two technical things in all of this. One of them is DNS and the other one's FTP. But you can operate a very respectable looking website completely for free without paying for any themes or any plugins. I'm going to take you on the journey of creating the Small Business Toolbox channel and website from scratch. I'm going to show you everything in the process from coming up with the name and getting the domain name through to sorting out web hosting creating a simple WordPress based website, setting up this actual YouTube channel and growing it up from zero views and zero subscribers so you can see exactly how long it takes to make a YouTube channel if that's something that you're planning on doing as part of your business. Something went wrong, our tubes must be brilliant. So I literally can't create a YouTube channel, okay. But it's gonna be much wider than that. My basic premise of all of this is that if you're a business owner and you're just setting up, a basic life skill is to be able to create a simple website for your business because you're not gonna have any money and you're gonna be relying on that website to make money. And then once you've made enough money, you can farm that job off to someone else. But to get started, it's not that complicated for you to do this by yourself. You see, I get asked all the time, how can I win more business and make more money? And I turn around and say, well, let's see your website. And they turn around and say, well, I don't have a website. And I'm like, well, there's your problem. In my humble opinion, having a nice, simple, but good business website is one of the most fundamental things that you need to get right in the early stages of your business. If I'm gonna engage with any company to get them to do work for me, I mean, yeah, I might find out about them on Facebook or via Twitter or something like that, but the first thing that I do is I go to their website and I check out a little bit more about them, have a look at the past work they've done. And if they don't have a website, I don't even entertain them. I move on to the next one. You know, it's nearly 2020. Times have moved on. If you don't have a website, in my view, you don't have a business. Buying a domain name and just pointing it to your Facebook page, that's not a website. Certainly for the millions of folk who aren't even on Facebook, that'll instantly put them off. So all I'm talking about is making your own professional looking simple website with your own domain name pointing to it and your own proper email addresses, so sales at yourdomain.com or whatever, a proper professional business image to support all of the other hard work that you're doing. So this whole series of videos is going to be aimed solely at small business owners. I'm not aiming it at technical people. I'm not aiming it at people who already know how to set up a website. I'm not going to be rushing through it. It's not a race to create a website in 10 minutes. I'm going to be gradually stepping you through every bit of the process so that you understand everything that's involved in doing this. And I can't explain that in 10 minutes. By you gaining a greater understanding of how this is done, when it does come to the time when you can pay someone else to do all of this for you, you'll have a much better idea of what you need to ask them for and you're much less likely to have the wool pulled over your eyes as well. At the end of this, you're gonna have a full professional looking WordPress based website and best still, you'll have full control over it. And if you are a startup, your initial outgoings are only gonna be about 50 pounds a year. So you're gonna see all of the decisions that I'm making and some of my mistakes that I've made along the way as well. And hopefully you can learn from those. I would love to hear in two or three years time that you've worked your way through these videos and you now have a successful business on the back of what I've hopefully helped you with. We're going to be using WordPress for this project. In my view, WordPress gives you the most long-term flexibility. 
just about anything that you ever want to do with a website, you can do on WordPress. And best of all, it's completely free. The other big advantage of using WordPress is that at the time that your business has grown to the point that you can afford to pay someone to manage your website for you, you can just take your whole website and hand it over to someone else and they'll happily support it for you. Often that's not the case with a lot of the other web platforms that are out there. So do just bear that in mind. I will pre-warn you, if you are a complete technophobe, this probably isn't the best solution for you. You are gonna need to be a little bit tech savvy, but most people are these days. The vast majority of what we're gonna be doing is no more complicated than using a word processor. At the end of the day, as with a lot of the stuff on this channel, I think this is stuff you should have been taught at school. The initial series of these videos where I explain everything about how I've created this site from the ground up are going to come out once a week, but it's never going to end. You can come along on this journey with me for as long as this channel keeps growing and evolving. When I make a change to this website, you're going to know about it and I'm going to explain why I've changed it. I'm also going to share all of the analytics with you over time so you can see it literally grow from zero. I'm really excited about this and today I just want to explain some of the fundamental concepts that you need to understand before you spend any money on domain names and web hosting. We're going to come across all of this stuff that I'm about to tell you in future videos so it's really important that you've got a fairly decent understanding of how things are put together in the world of having a website. There are essentially two elements to a website. Your domain name, and that's like your, your company name.com or whatever. And you've got your web hosting and your web hosting is where your WordPress website is gonna sit. I like to use 123 Reg for my domain names and I like to use SiteGround for my web hosting. Who you use is entirely up to you but there's a couple of links in the description to 123 Reg and SiteGround and if you use those links then they'll chuck a couple of pennies my way and it helps me create more videos that might help you. I'm going to be covering off the domain names and the web hosting in the next video. So if you haven't bought that yet, wait until you've watched the next video. You can absolutely get your domain name and web hosting from the same company. So for example, 123 Reg also do web hosting and SiteGround also do domain names. I prefer to keep things separate so I don't have all my eggs in one basket. But if you want to get everything from one company, that's absolutely fine. The domain name provider or the registrar is just basically like a big telephone directory. And all they do is point your domain names over to your website. And we do that with a thing called DNS. We'll talk about that more in the next part. The job of your web hosting provider is to store all of the files and the databases and everything else that's needed to keep your website running. And they need to keep that running 24 seven. A WordPress website is made up of files and a database. All of these folders and files store things like the main code for your website and all your images and things like that. The database stores all of the actual content, all of your posts, all of your content, all of the text. Everything text-based and configuration-based is stored in the database. For a WordPress website to work, you need both of these. You need the database and you need the files and folders. Generally speaking, the database is going to be running on a thing called MySQL or MySQL. You don't need to know anything about that other than the fact that we're going to install a database and it's really straightforward. I'm going to step you through that and we'll have a database installed in probably 
under 10 seconds. And that database is stored as part of your web hosting. Now, for you to update the website, you need to access the internet and connect up to your web host. And one of the first things that we need to do is to get WordPress onto your web hosting platform. And in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna download WordPress from wordpress.org We'll do a little bit of basic configuration to the WordPress thing that we've downloaded, and then we're gonna upload it to your web host. And that process of uploading stuff from your computer to your web host, we do using a thing called FTP. We'll talk about that in one of the future videos. As we've briefly mentioned, the job of the domain name provider is dead simple. All they need to do is point your domain names to your web hosting. The job of the web host is a little bit more complicated because they need to keep your website up and running 24 seven. They need to physically host all of the files and databases. They look after email and they're also gonna provide all of the backups to backup your website in case there's a problem. And they're gonna provide some basic web statistics as well so that you know how many people have been visiting your website. Now, depending on the type of business you run, these statistics can be a really critical thing that you need to know about. How many people are visiting your site? When? Where are all the visits coming from? And all that sort of thing. And as I say, the statistics provided by a web host are normally fairly basic. So I'm going to be showing you as part of these videos how to use a thing called Google Analytics. And Google Analytics is probably the most popular tool used for more advanced web statistics. So there's only two technical things in all of this. One of them is DNS and the other one's FTP. DNS is used to point your domain names to your web host. FTP is used to transfer files from your computer to your web hosting provider. And we'll cover all of that on future videos. I also want to very, very quickly touch on the structure of WordPress and how that works. We'll go into that in much more detail later on, but let me just explain some of the fundamental concepts of a WordPress website, because this is a little bit different to how websites used to operate. Your WordPress website will effectively consist of pages and posts. Pages generally consist of static information. So things like your about page or your product portfolio or your privacy policy and your terms and conditions, each one of those will be a separate page and they can be broken down into a full hierarchy of pages. But then we've got the added benefit of a thing called posts. And posts are really cut out for article-based content. Posts can be put into categories. And although the categories can be given a hierarchy, the posts themselves have no hierarchy information to them whatsoever. But you can use things such as tags to subcategorize all of your articles. Posts are great for things like blog content, news bits of your website, basically anything where you're going to have a time-stamped article and that list of articles is going to be built on over time. Your website will probably be made of pages and posts. If you only do blog content, you could have a website that only consists of posts. 
If you only have static information on your site, like a business card type website, then you probably don't need posts at all and you just need a couple of pages. The great thing about a WordPress based website is that to control what your website looks like, we use a thing called themes. WordPress comes with a bunch of free themes and there's hundreds and hundreds of free themes on the internet that you can download or as your website develops, you can buy themes. It's not very expensive, but it can turn a really basic looking website into a very, very professional looking website. I'm just going to be showing you free themes. It's completely up to you what themes you use. But the great thing about themes is that you can change the look and feel of your website in a matter of a couple of clicks of the mouse without touching any of your website content. And the themes can generally be customized to do all sorts of things. So if you want your website to look in a particular way, you're gonna do that by installing an appropriate theme. And then finally, the most important part of a WordPress site is plugins. And plugins are what you use to make your website do extra stuff. If you want to run a shop on your website, you use an e-commerce plugin such as WooCommerce. If you want to beef up the security on your website, you use a security plugin such as WordFence. If you want to create a really swanky portfolio gallery system, you install a plugin for it. If you run a business that takes bookings for holidays or for campsites or for band rehearsals, you use a plugin that handles bookings. As it currently stands today, there are 54,886 different plugins to choose from. Anything you could ever want your website to do, you can do with a plugin. Similar to themes, some plugins are free and some you have to pay for. But you can operate a very respectable looking website completely for free without paying for any themes or any plugins. And how you manage that over time is completely up to you. But there's such a giant pool of resources already written for you. I can't think of anything that I've ever needed a website to do that I haven't been able to do with plugins. But you don't have to use plugins at all, and you don't have to use anything other than the default theme. And you could potentially run your whole website just based on pages alone. But this is the great thing about a WordPress website, is that you've got amazing scope for scalability, and as I've mentioned, any normal web development company will happily support a WordPress-based website for you. It's worth pointing out as well that WordPress is known as a content management system or a CMS. There are other content management systems out there, such as Joomla, but WordPress is the most popular by a country mile. Now, one thing that you always have to bear in mind with websites is that websites can get hacked. And this is another topic that we're gonna cover on these videos. Because if you've got a website, no matter what CMS you're using, you need to keep it secure. So I can't wait to get started with this and show you creating this channel from the ground up. We're gonna rewind a little bit back to August 2018, which is when I set up this website. So some of the things are gonna be a little bit out of date, but I'm gonna be taking you through a lot of the updates that I've done over time anyway, and all of the fundamental concepts still apply. So I really hope you enjoy this series of videos. If you've got any questions, pop them down below. Part two will be out in literally a couple of days. So if you haven't done so already, please do hit subscribe. In the next video, we're gonna cover off buying the domain names, getting the hosting up and running, 
and getting this whole project off the ground. I shall see you next time. Bye.